Hey guys, it's Extreme 3D, and in this video, I will be talking to you about a revision to my spool holder for this filament right here. So let's get started. Okay, so if you haven't seen my last video, I believe it was, uh, or a few videos uh, back, um, I made this spool holder for this bridge nylon filament from Tallman. And uh, the only problem was that there's nothing stopping it from sliding off if that ever did happen. And uh, it actually did happen to me. And uh, what happened is my print failed. And well, as you can tell, uh, that's because of this sliding off. So uh, yeah, so that happened, and uh, I wanted to revise that spool holder, and uh, during that video, I actually mentioned that I wanted to revise it, and I said stay tuned for that. So, this is the video about it, and uh, I'm going to walk you through the different uh, things that I had to make before I got to this. This is the final product, and I'm going to show you, uh, there's just one fail that I will show you right now, and... Uh, this is it right here. So as you can see, the difference between the first spool holder, which is right here. So as you can see, the difference between the first spool holder and uh, this second revision is that this is, it's cut in half. So the cylinder right here was cut in half. And I did that because I wanted to have a wall right here so that the filament wouldn't slide off if that did ever happen, which it has happened to me. So um, what I did is I created a wall, but something happened when I was slicing and turns out I did something weird with the file and it just failed. And it right there, you can see this indent and uh, that's where the wall was supposed to be. It was supposed, supposed to be taller, but that didn't print for some reason. So. Uh, I had to remodel it, um, and then uh, and I came up with this. So this is the new revised spool holder, and uh, here I'm going to show you it right now. So this is it on the filament, the filament spool on here, and uh, it works really well. It's strong. Uh, it's not flimsy at all. It's just using PLA filament. And I printed this on my FlashForge Creator Pro, and uh, this little bracket here at the end, this little clip, whatever you want to call it. This is designed for the FlashForge Creator Pro model that I own. So uh, I have this on Thingiverse. You can go download it. Um, I'll leave my Thingiverse profile link down below in the description. Please stick around for more videos. Uh, in two weeks, I will be reviewing this filament. So stick around for that. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye.